The January 5th premiere of the new season of Sister Wives saw a lot of drama, especially for first wife Mary Brown. The episode featured the Brown family moving to Flagstaff, Arizona from Las Vegas, Nevada, with each wife moving into her own rental home. Mary's new neighbors, however, weren't too pleased about someone in a plural marriage living in the neighborhood. They were not happy with um, our family being here. They said they didn't want our family here. Mary explained, The neighbors contacted the owner of my rental. I had a conversation with the owner. Pretty much the first thing she said to me was, Mary, I am second-guessing the fact that I approved you to rent this house. She asked me if I would consider leaving the house and not renting from her. While the owner of the rental home was aware of Mary's circumstances before she moved in, pushback from the neighbors made for a tense situation. They put it in the contract, in the rental contract. She knows we're a plural family. She knows we're going to be filming in the house. Mary was unsure how she wanted to proceed in light of what she perceived as bullying. While she didn't want to give in to the pressure, she also didn't want to live in a neighborhood where she wasn't welcome. They're bullying me. They're bullying the owner to kick me out because they don't like who I am without even knowing me. Mary eventually ended up deciding not to deal with the hostile situation and temporarily moved back to Las Vegas while continuing to search for a permanent home in Flagstaff. The move left fans wondering why Mary simply didn't move in with one of her sister wives while she was house hunting instead of fleeing the state altogether. The stars of Sister Wives took to social media to explain the situation. Mary wrote on Twitter as the show was airing, Mixed feelings slash emotions about staying in Vegas for three months while I found another house in Flagstaff. I love Vegas, no secret, but it was hard being away from the family. I traveled back and forth often those months. Her sister wife Janelle retweeted Mary's comment, adding, quote, I'm so glad that is behind us. A fan then asked Janelle why Mary couldn't have simply stayed with Janelle or fellow sister wife Robin. Janelle answered, Mary runs a business that takes a lot of room, and we have all moved into smaller homes compared to what we had. The bedrooms are full. We didn't have an option. Fellow sister wife Christine also expressed her sadness at Mary having to move back to Las Vegas, tweeting, It's just sad that Mary is by herself in our cul-de-sac. Super lonely. We really missed her a lot. The reason Mary needs so much space in her home is because she is a LuLaRoe retailer and needs space for her merchandise. Mary regularly posts pictures of the merchandise she has for sale on her Instagram account and has her own website where people can purchase merchandise. LuLaRoe isn't Mary's only business venture. She also owns a bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn in Utah. The business opened in 2017 and is about a five-hour drive from Flagstaff. She told Us Weekly that the bed and breakfast was originally built by her ancestors in the 19th century, adding, It's not the type of thing that needs a whole lot of hands-on. I've got employees that I hired that are there doing the cooking and cleaning and stuff like that, and my mom is there. Some fans weren't buying the excuse that no one had space for Mary, speculating that Mary moved back to Las Vegas because of a falling out with her sister wives. Whether or not Mary moved because of a disagreement with the other wives, it looks like things have turned around for the reality star. Since the episode was filmed, Mary has found a home in Flagstaff and permanently relocated to the city with the rest of the Brown family, an exciting development fans will likely see in a future episode of Sister Wives. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.